Let's take a closer look at the design features of the new Red Bull RB20. Let's start at the front. The nose stayed pretty much the same as at the launch. It's reaching far forward to the first element, while other teams went the other way and made their nose shorter. The current trend is to give the nose a flatter cross section to have more space for flow to the floor inlet. To reach the required cross section, noses are getting wider. Red Bull came with an extreme version and was failing the first crash test. And also now at testing we could see that the nose was getting a dent at high speeds, just like Ferrari last year. So also here they are at the limit and they need another layer of carbon. The front wing is fairly conventional with a flat outwashing section at the sides. The really interesting part is in the middle of the car. As we expected in my launch video of the RB20, it has horizontal inlets for the side pods. Below that is a large vertical slot. Last year and this year we could see the slot at Ferrari. It was said that it's there to catch boundary layer to only have clean flow in the undercat area, but for my taste it was a bit too big for just that. Now at the Red Bull, the slot is much narrower and here it makes sense that it is to catch boundary layer and to vent it somewhere underneath the bodywork. So Red Bull has by far the largest undercut and is additionally cleaning it up with that slot. So they optimized their undercut area a lot. And there is a great shot of Giorgio Piola where we can see the Red Bull without bodywork. I don't really understand the whole discussion about Mercedes style zero pods. First of all, Mercedes never had no side pods. They were just very narrow at the top. And second, the Red Bull's side pods are really full. And here we can see an interesting new old cooling system, the V package. So we see a large radiator lying at the bottom. This could be a water radiator. Above we see a double package. These could be oil radiators. And in front we see a thin possible water radiator first and a thicker core behind it. So this could be an air-to-air -air intercooler. At the launch we were wondering what these bumps behind the cockpit were. Now at testing they took the covers off and we could see air inlets here. Cockpit losses stay at the yellow center bit and are guided to the back on top of the sausages. If we take a look underneath we can see that Red Bull has additional radiators sitting here and they have a ducted exit to the side of the bodywork. The airbox has the classic layout with engine air in the center and the side intakes are combining to feed another flat lying radiator. There are some discussions about the side slots feeding the engine but it wouldn't make sense to send boundary layer to the turbo and air filters also have to fit in there. So what did Red Bull do here? They packaged all cooling of the car much further forward to have the rear of the car as empty as possible. So they can have the tightest rear end for more energy delivery to the back and hence more downforce. Also we could see their diffuser for the first time. The impressive thing is here that there's literally nothing. They run a pushrod suspension at the back so suspension components are on top of the gearbox and the lower side can be very compact. If we compare that with the Williams which has pull rod suspension we can see the difference. The special Red Bull side pod package doesn't allow them to package any electronics in there so all that is underneath the driver. Also their floor edge is very aggressive. They pull the flow of the front floor strakes high up and also keep the undercut flow attached with this wall. The rear of the bodywork creates a lot of downwash which drags clean air down to the rear wing and helps to work it harder. The rear wing flap is detached at the tips. Check out my other video if you want to see how to design this feature in Katia. So Red Bull went new ways to get a more aggressive package and to keep the rear of the car as empty as possible. That will allow them to send even more clean air to the back. And the slot at the front and the Mercedes sausages on top help them to keep disturbed air away from downforce producing parts. How do you like the new Red Bull RB20? Let me know in the comments below and check out my career accelerator course if you want to work in F1 as well.